Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is chapter 8 of Spring, Moving Forward. And what I want to talk to you today about is, I don't feel like it's spring. I feel like it's sleepy, nighttime, dark, cold, um, wintertime still. And I think sometimes in spring it is like that where you know it's a long spring it's a long summer uh, i mean a long winter and um it's dark and gray and cold and windy and nasty and we have bad weather and um that's kind of where i feel right now it's like it's there you're you're ready to bloom you're ready to expand you're ready to live that new life but it's still in that darkness and that cold and that waiting period uh, that deep sleep that area of decay um, and um, so we're still waiting we're still waiting to bloom and that's okay um, we can we're patient we know that the the, the fall has happened and we know that the regrowth is coming. We just have to be patient. We just have to wait. And um, yeah, in my personal life, it's kind of like, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of preparation and planning and spending. And, um, you know, now the car went kaput. And it's like, well, how are we going to get places? And... Um, so yeah, so we're just, we're just dealing with a lot right now and, uh, trying to just get by. Um, we have a rummage sale coming. We're, we're trying to downsize, um, because we're going to a place that's smaller than where we are now. Um, so we're trying to get rid of a lot of lawn equipment and things that we won't need in this new place. And, um... I always love when people are um, telling you you have to downsize, you have to get rid of your stuff, um, but yet they have a full house and an attic and a basement and a garage and they have storage areas and, um, and then it's kind of hypocritical to sit there and say, oh, you, you should have nothing. You know, we have... We have all this stuff, but you should have nothing. And um, I don't know, it just kind of hurts, I guess you could say. It hurts to have to downsize and downsize and downsize and downsize <laughs> and um, let go of and let go of and let go of. And um, yeah, so we will, we will do that and it will be nice to to let it go um you know if it's no longer serving us it, it is nice to let it go so all right these are the star moon tarot cards um and i'm gonna say a little uh prayer to god um the, the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Alright. Okay, and we have the lover's card, which is love, harmony, relationships, union, partnership, sexuality, passion, Values, alignment, strength of two, deep love, and a choice. The lover's card is kind of part of our past. And, sorry, dropped a card here. And, um, I don't know, it's, it's a nice little union card. Union with our past. Being in union. All right, and then the second card for the present is the Queen of Cups. 
love this card. And it's compassion, confront. Uh, I'm sorry, compassion, comfort, calm, nurturing, nurturance, healing, emotional, stability, intuition, and caring. That's perfect for the present because I, I need my mom in my life. I need Mother Mary. And I'm going to pray for the future card to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And this card that came up for the future is the King of Cups. So we got the King and the Queen of Cups. Emotional balance, compassion, diplomatic, control, balance, supportive leader, tolerance, and empathetic. So the three of these together, the lovers, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups, to me means um, just union. And um, to me, it's like Mary and Joseph, you know, it's... It's the king and queen. <laughs> um, and Joseph is kind of, you know, in the Bible, um, kind of a, a forgotten father. Um, the, second, the second father who raised him and, and um, brought, him, brought him up. Um, so that's just how I see it. That's just my opinion. So, all right. Those are beautiful cards. And I hope that everybody has a safe, um, happy day. And it's okay, Daisy. And, um, and I hope, uh, I hope we're all doing well. I, I kind of run out of things to say sometimes. And I can't get original and think of, think of something really you know, happy to talk about sometimes. Sometimes I just feel tired and sad and not myself. So, um, yeah, I'm just ready to, ready to get this, um, move underway, this room and seal underway, um, this purge underway, get rid of, 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 and, and move on with my life. So, all right, I hope everyone has a great day.